Local El Paso residents continue to stock up for tonight's 4th of July celebrations as they are still heading to local fireworks stores as we speak. ABC 7 spoke with a local vendor who said in the recent weeks business was going slow, but hey, it eventually picked right back up. And ABC 7's Ediberto Perez joins us live from the Far East El Paso area where he has been able to speak with some of the customers. Ediberto. That's right. Good evening, Paul. Happy 4th of July to you. These customers that you are talking about well, said that one of the things that they enjoy to do the most on Independence Day is to pop fireworks with friends and family, but others didn't skip the food part of the celebration and feel proud of being American. What sparklers would you recommend? Um, we recommend these because they're a little bit larger. They're six for 450. Sure. A lot of people are looking um, for a good deal, so we try to get them into packages we have um, packages that it's a little bit of everything and it saves them a little bit of money daniel hasso operates one of the mr w fireworks stands here in el paso he also told me businesses started to pick up earlier this week they expect more people to come in in the late hours of fourth of july we also had the chance to speak with some customers to ask them what plans they have for tonight uh, we're doing like a potluck and then we're just gonna you know blow some stuff up People like Christian were chosen to go and buy the fireworks. The rest of his friends went to get the food. But I also asked him what kind of fireworks was he purchasing. Tell me, what do you have there in your hands? Uh, I got a motor. Uh, it's called Gorilla Bomb Shots. And then on this one, I got the... Uh, I call them wands, but they're the, the Roman candles, the ones that shoot out, and then some, some other stuff. People gather on the 4th of July with their friends and family to celebrate, but people also love the firework shows seen across our county. My favorite part is just getting together with friends and family and hanging out, having a good time. You know, like the carne asadas and all that, but this is, you know, this is nice too. This is like the, the, the excitement of everything. I also asked Daniel if this is the busiest day of the year for them. Busiest day of the year for you guys, right? Definitely busiest and the most tiring one, but it's, uh, it's worth here. it. Just to see them happy with their fireworks. Paul, Stephanie, you can hear he, uh, you can hear the noise of fireworks here in Far East El Paso along Alameda Avenue, where people have started to celebrate now at 6 p.m. And just because of this, local officials want to remind the community that fireworks are always considered illegal inside of El Paso city limits. We're currently in the Far East part of the county uh, because they want everyone to have fun uh, tonight on the 4th of July celebrations and to keep them safe. I'm reporting live again from Far East El Paso, Heriberto Perez. ABC 7. Thank you, Heriberto.